It's a lot of troops. And now Beirut is the emperor. This is a weird game. Austria is a junior partner of France! Right lads, today we're not playing as England, we're going to be playing as Wales. We are also going to be on Iron Man mode. We're also going to have Lucky Nations odd, which means we can't get any achievements, but it adds a little bit of chaos. Right, so it stars Wales, we have to start as England, and Lithuania's riled us for some reason. All right, we're going to go ahead and delete our armies, and also our navy. I could go the whole, like, bankrupting them route, but I don't really see the point. I will, however, destroy the forts. Also, I kind of want to prevent the surrender of mine, so we're going to go ahead and release everyone we can release. I will, however, be giving mine over to prevent the surrender of the main. I don't know why I pronounce them too differently. I don't know why I pronounce the same word differently twice. Plays really subject. There we go. So we don't actually get any Welsh missions, but Welsh ideas. We get plus 10% morale of armies, plus one attrition for enemies, and plus 25% land force limit modifier uh, for our ambition. They're pretty good. The rest of our ideas are kind of terrible. The stability cost modifier minus 20%. Pretty good. I like that. The rest of it, however, bad. Now we have five years until the truce with the English is up. I don't know if I'll get anyone else involved. Maybe I go ahead and call on the rest of the English vassals to help out. What the? What? Sorry, of mine? How? I thought it couldn't trigger if it was um, not owned by England. In which case, we're going to be fighting the French. And I've learnt my lesson to just sort of roll over. Now, what are my aims for this campaign? Uh, I kind of want to try and convert the entirety of the British Isles to Welsh. I think that'd be funny. I think the English are actually fighting in my lands. They won. Impressive. You only outnumbered them two to one. Tempted to take religious ideas first just for that culture conversion cost. That'll, that'll help us quite a bit when convincing everyone that Welsh is the way forward. Or at least, you know, displacing them. England, your capital, it's falling. There's like half the men. You could probably fight that. Oh, they, they might do it. Oh, they're doing it. They stack work. Burgundy, probably quite a good counterweight to England as well. Right, I also would support my independence. <laughs> no one. Solid. I'm actually going to build up my troops now because I'm going to be hitting my manpower cap pretty soon. And there we go. We get our fort attrition. Ooh, a three siege, you say? That's kind of interesting. There we go. That's the war done. Now, how are the English doing? They've got like 10,000 troops. I really don't think I want to get the other guys involved. There we go. Just hoping that the Burgundian Navy is up to snuff. Okay, we've just murdered something. <laughs> Was that the free company or something? Oh, there's no way you have manpower. There is absolutely no way. Yeah, 2,000 manpower. I've been stack wiping him. He's got force limit 32. Are you loyal? No, you're not. Why are you coming down here then? You're disloyal. What is this? He's disloyal. Why is he coming over here? Cornwall also disloyal. Don't siege my lands. Okay, excellent. That's exactly what I want to see. Them trying to siege down my land here. I can put it on defensiveness. And they'll probably get a couple more troops. But I think I'm going to go ahead and grab the free company as well. All right, whilst we have a decent amount of tradition. A 2-4. I'm just getting lucky now. Yeah, there's no way I'm letting that stand. Forlorn hope. It's appropriate. Oh, God, it's filth. Our morale is probably one of the highest in the world right now. Yeah, it's literally out there with Burgundy. Dude, I don't even think I needed Burgundy. They've All they've done is siege down Calais. Oh, my God, it's a stack wipe. Because the idea is I can then divide and conquer the vassals. But I really don't think you want to do this. Realistically, the uh, vassals are going to declare independence immediately after this. So I might want to cripple them, to be honest. He's got 5,000 troops and he's locked in. Do you have Miltek 4? You do. Oh, okay, no stack wipe, but that's kind of painful. And that's our... Uh, I, I don't want to call him our rival because we didn't really do anything to him. So how has Burgundy got 63% war participation? How? What did you do? What did you do? You took Calais. Could you, like, march into Portugal or something, Burgundy? Or do anything. I kind of want to take me to, as a vassal. I think that'll be fun. I think I'm going to have to build up a really big navy after this. <laughs> they didn't want to fight. <laughs> I'm making them fight. I've actually made a lot of money this war. Mainly from trade. Okay, the Lollards are here. So it's time for me to leave. Can I not take a vassal and say, well, that I get independence? That kind of sucks. France would join a coalition. Eh, it'll be fine. Now, France, I need you to chill, yeah? Don't, don't be stressed. Yeah, Peasants War. I don't think I can stop that. Allying Scotland, good move, I think. Because then France is less likely to declare war me. Potentially. Try and ally the French. No, no. Holland, how are you, are you independent? What? Why? <laughs> I'm going to get Lollard heretics. Really? Well, that's what I was hoping to prevent. March in, boys. Please don't lose that. Please don't lose that. We can't afford to lose that. I think we lost. Okay, just about we won. My God. 15,000 English separatists. I don't think there's much I can do about that. I'll probably just accept their demands. I will be going down to like minus three stability again though. So I probably won't be up in my stability anytime soon. Yeah, look at what it's called now. Lundane. Okay, there's still not a Miltic 4. I'm probably going to have to buy a couple of different... Ooh. If I go now, I can probably catch them before they link up. Go, 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 go. Don't join, don't join, don't join, don't join. Okay, good. Because <laughs> if I could try and like, if I try and up my stability, I, I need three. So realistically, I need 300 admin, which I'm not getting in this time. Can you imagine if Wales did this? 
They just not just rise up and throw their shackles off their uh, English overlords. They just take out half of England. Oh, man, I probably could have made it. With those two events, I probably could have gotten out of the Peasants' War. Damn it. So, yeah, we're going to lose six stability. And we could fight this, right? So, we could sit here and we could fight this. Or we could just sacrifice 100 prestige to get out of it now. So, bear in mind, to end the Peasants' War, we need to have stability at least one. But it's 50% more expensive. Whereas, I could just go accept demands. Peasants' War ends. And we lose 100 prestige. It's kind of worth it. Especially because I finished off my guys here, the rebels. And so when it comes time for it, I can just go ahead and decrease autonomy. Ludwig of Hesse as the emperor. It's going to be one of those games, boys. It's going to be one of those games. Did not realize it was going to be that quick. All right, let's go to the free company again. Those are losses I could have done with avoiding. And there goes all of our manpower. <laughs> I feel like taking land from England, definitely the best way to go about it. Scotland's announced this as our rival, meaning that I don't actually have any allies. Or any potential allies for that matter. Maybe Castile. Alright, back to zero stability. Wonderful. I am concerned that if I royal marry Spain, or Castile in this case, I may have a slight issue with going under a personal union, which wouldn't be good. No, let us marry a noble local talent. What? What? How are you going to claim Aragorn's throne after you had the chance to take them under a personal union and you just didn't? Awain the 555. Perfect timing, bud. Firstly, you're an incredible, incredible. That's the best rule I've had in a long time. Uh, but it also means I can Royal Mary Castile without fear. And then I can ally them. Go ahead and accept English culture for now. Come to think of it, why didn't Portugal ever land any troops when we were fighting them? Still disloyal, 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 disloyal. It should be fine. Why are you here? You're disloyal. <laughs> go away. I'm going to go and pick up the free company just because we're kind of hurting for manpower. Why would you fight me? There was no need. Nice little stack back there. Before the Portuguese turn up, if you wouldn't mind. Spreading out a lot. I'm going to murder these troops just for fun. I just want the uh, army tradition. Ah, Siege of Kent's over. Also, these guys have breached the walls. It's very, uh, very fortunate for me to then take over the siege. Appreciate it, guys. Oh, those Portuguese troops as well. Okay, we've got to kill these. They might actually be decent. And we cannot let those guys get any sort of foothold. Or head into Northumbria. It's quite a useful stack wipe. That means that the English can't produce any more troops. I thought our leader die. Alright, well, this one's going to take his place. A 3-3 three, three is quite decent, actually. Gone quite lucky, like I said, with these things. You want to see how the rest of the world's getting on. Uh, it looks to me pretty standard. Looks like strong Morocco. Uh, Ottomans seem to be doing decently. Hungary kind of strong. Integrating Croatia, doing good. Attacking Bohemia, nice. Polish Lithuanians doing well. Looks like Novgorod mildly lost. Nothing too big. I'm not sure how the Great Horde took that. Oh, they've taken Imereti as a vassal. Interesting. Okay, this could be a big Great Horde game. Looks like Muscovy might get contained this game, which would be interesting. Probably that stuff. Or not. Uh, it's annoying of a coalition, not a horrible coalition. I'd probably lose if they attacked me, put it that way. Have the English got more troops? Where have they come from? Probably Calais. I don't think I ever got rid of that fort. Well, they got rid of it themselves. I mean, I'll never take an opportunity to take out the Portuguese for granted. That should be a stack wipe. Or it's not, but this one will be. Can I fight this coalition? I don't like the fact that the French are in it. The Burgundians. The Burgundians. <laughs> Burgundians are in it. It's not a weak Burgundy either. And we do have a weak Castile. If they had Aragon as, as a Pussy Union, I might be tempted. But if I do it and then build a navy, that could be the play. I'll just take the money. Uh, in fact, I'll get into another alliance with Portugal. 99%. I think we risk it. There we go. Scotland and England as rivals. Can go and core everything now. Here come the coalition. Be great if I could fully annex England and just take all their vassals. Or like, what, three of them. Okay, allies. We need some decent allies. Would Hess ally me? They are the Holy Roman Emperor, after all. Milan is ally, not terrible. The Hungarians as well, not bad ally at all. Especially given what they're currently going through. Which is a period of growth. So, hang on. Global dominance. Yeah, we'll take that now. Why not? To be 24,000 English separatists. And we get the Holy War cast spell against the Ottomans. I am sorely tempted. I am sorely tempted to go for it. If I didn't have this coalition, I'd be going for it right now. We'll go ahead and brace Renaissance. 
and take the next Miltech. And I want to focus admin now. The key part here is they're separatists, so they'll take after English ideas and such, which gives them plus 10% uh, infantry combat ability, but also Miltech 5. Miltech 6 is kind of a key one. I'm going to go ahead and hide the comes from now, I think. She probably should never have fired him. Why has it gone back to 4? It should be 10. Why does it go back down to 4? It should be 6. Okay, right. We're going to go in against them and just see what happens. Okay, good. Yep, was never worried. Not for a second. Jesus Christ. Oh, no. Oh, we got a 5-5 in charge? Console Regency. A 5-5 comes in charge in about 8 years. Well, we can relax until then anyway, to be honest. Gawain Bennett. I thought I said Gavin Bennett, which might be the best name I've ever heard. Attempt to go for the combat bonus off of own coast. Yeah, let's do that. We'll actually be able to go ahead and grab an alliance. They aren't allied to Austria, interestingly. That should hopefully prevent the Burgundians from declaring war on me. I mean, the rest of the coalition... It's a lot of troubles, like 150,000. Ugh. Okay, that would make a lot of money. I think it might be time to start building that fleet. I'm going to go ahead and trigger these Englishmen. How do we trigger an Englishman? You mean soccer? How do it. Hey, shout out to the 25% of the audience that's American, also known as our largest demographic, that I may or may not have just insulted by mocking your accent. Naval whales? That could be fun. Or we stack the uh, morale and just get like... Yeah, that'd be fun. Let's stack morale. 10% plus a 15% here. That's 25% morale. That's what we want to see. Although, it's not about stacking modifiers. It's about the memes. And uh, the memes demand naval ideas. And we could pick the first naval idea. Naval leader shock plus one. God, what is that name? Gwarthaf. Can any Welshies at home tell me if that's a legitimate name? Because I think that's a mocking thing from Paradox. I'm pretty sure that's just pure racism. And now Beirut is the emperor. This is a weird game. It's a weird game. I'm feeling pretty safe now that we have these uh, ships. I could probably fight the Scots because they're allied to the French. I could trigger the coalition. Can I fight the French and Burgundian navies, though, combined, along with all those galleys? The French have six. The Burgundians have two. Maybe? Four more Carracks, and then let's galley spam the rest. There's no way he's better than a 555. Yeah, 332. No, get out of here. Like I said, I'm fairly confident that we can beat the Scots. Okay, I have a plan, but it's not the greatest. It would mean severing all of my alliances and just trusting my navy to take care of me. So basically being English. Because <laughs> there's nothing anyone can do once I, I have this navy up and running. You know what? We're going to do it. We're going to do it. That sounds bold. All right, dissolve the alliance. And that's one. That's two. And that is three. Like I said, I am fairly confident now. And now we have a chance to prove that confidence. That's a lot of ships. Okay, who are we all with now? Western Europe, including Austria? Really? Austria is a junior partner of France! As I said, we should be we should be fine. The next idea is coming up soon. Provided no one's landing troops, we should be okay. The issue is our ships are kind of spread out. Ooh. Morale of navies. Yes, please. In the meantime, let's continue to build carracks. Where we get that plus one bonus off of our own coast. Should help things. We can just afford to be patient. I mean they are blockading us, of course, but that should be fine. We're currently fighting like a hundred and something thousand men. How the hell did this happen? When did this happen and why? They're like rivals. How's France? <laughs> okay. Hey, buddy. No one else is landing troops. So it's just you and me. Right, let's make our 555 ruler into a general. Not the most advisable thing to do, but it's kind of role play. It's a time of war. Come going, bud. No, come back. It'll be fun. Come back. I want to play. I want to play. Come here. I want to show you something. We've got, we've got to show superiority. Right, and galley combat ability. Now we're going to Scotland. I've got something to show you real quick. It's called uh, cleaning up after you're dead. And I'm going to have to do it. The Scots are, like, kind of painful to fight against. The Irish, not so much. Now, other idea groups. What suits whales? Again, like, that 25% cultural conversion cost could be good, but is it worth going through the entire idea group? I don't think so. Innovative ideas. The Welsh are kind of innovative, I think. Right. Let's see what happens if we engage navally. It's a lot of ships that we're taking out. I just don't want to lose any. Let's pull out. Okay, we killed 15 light ships. I'm pretty happy with that. We've also got two more characters sort of waiting here. Uh, I'll happily head straight in. I, I'm going to leave my light ships behind because they're terrible at fighting. Here we go. Here's how to dominate Europe. 
This is what we wanted to see. This is the kind of gameplay we turned up for. The Welsh Navy. Okay, they're marching in. I definitely need to defend that. It's going to be close, actually. Okay, that was kind of close. Please win that. The blockade of Europe is about to begin, ladies and gentlemen. Look, I do not need this many Karaks, I don't think. But I'm going to keep them for now, because it's fun. Six Karaks? This could be a big battle here. Not sure how he's faster than me. Considering he doesn't have uh, a naval commander. There we go. We're catching them. We're catching something. I think this is the main fleet. Well, the bunch of zeros there. Kind of rolling low on manpower. Honestly, our land-based ability is not as good as our ship-based ability. Caught something. Oh, God. Naval combat so satisfying. Ooh, five French ships here. Can we catch them? We can. Can we come on, take out the characters? Take out the characters. It's got one character. And then let's go blockade. Don't capture my capital, please. It's annoying. That was kind of painful. Get away from my heartlands. All right, let's drop like a thousand men here. We've run out of manpower officially. Yeah, this war kind of hurt more on the land than it did the sea. All right, now we can go blockade the French. Make them feel the pain. We can take, next, we can take, we can take an innovative idea. Brilliant. It does give us minus 20% stability cost. Whistling them down one by one. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. My poor Carrick's. That's still one. Right. I'm probably going to have to grab the free company. Just to do with these upstart English. Right. Uh, let's take out the English. The morale plus 0.2. Thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. Thing is, I get called for peace, but equally, I, I can't do anything about it. <laughs> they want me dead. They declared this war. This is defensive. The plan is to focus on the French. Uh, and just try and whittle down the wall. Because everyone else is on, like, medium or low. But France is like, woo, yeah. Warfare. <laughs> I got independent, did you, Northumberland? Well, guess who I'm coming after next. I oh, now you want peace. Scotland releases the Isles. No. <laughs> Look at them run. They're around here somewhere, I can tell. Here they are. Three Carracks. Oh, I sunk that one. I'm just here to prove that my ships are superior. That's all I got going on. Because I don't have any rebels. I've got nothing else. I've got no reason to peace out. Literally none. I'm just enjoying myself. Right, so medium. I'm going to put you down to low before I do anything. This is a Wayne's greatest achievement. Also, it's kind of his only achievement. Also, not even that badly in debt. In fact, we don't have any debt. This is the best Wales has ever been. All right, let's see what they'll give me in terms of peace. Ooh, I can do a lot. Can I take any of these promises, do you think? I don't really want the mainland, but I just wanted to see if they'd give it to me. No. Okay. Well, I'll just take this stuff. I also take war operations for you having the audacity and the gall to declare this war. 73%. I don't, I mean, I've already got a ticking war score. I'm not going to take anything else. I could go and pick up some little bits of war score, you know, probably, well, just war, sort of one more province, really. But taking this land's kind of fine by me. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I mean, I'm in power, but that's, that's fine. Did I take, ooh, to release Gaelden and sort of give them Scotland? Saves my admin power. So I think I'm going to do that. Could be fun. We'll make our own little friend. But yeah, no one can really stop us on our island. What we do is up to us. You don't understand. All of these nations are already annexed. They just don't know it yet. I can truce break. I can do whatever I want. I'm safe. I want to declare war on the French just to see, just to blockade them. I'm going to get a trade Cassus Belli. Just to ruin their day. Because ultimately, I mean, I don't like this. <laughs> They've got an almost loyal Austria. And again, I don't know how that happened. We'll have this happen. Uh, France is the scariest France I've seen. Wolgas doing pretty well as well. So are the Great Horde. Great Horde Caucasia doing pretty decently. I don't understand this game. Yeah, what are any of you going to do? Really? I don't know. I feel like a lot of uh, newer players underrate the Navy a lot in general. I think naval combat is uh, quite an important aspect of the game. And I think people just ignore it. I think having a strong Navy is very crucial. It allows you to do things, especially with like Marines and stuff, which I used to meme on. Uh, it allows you to do things that otherwise you wouldn't be able to do. Like it, just be able to drop in. Like if I had Marines right now, I could go and siege down a province in France. And even if he had a guy there standing right next to it, I could still get my boys out onto ships faster than he could come in to kill me. So realistically, you have invincible soldiers that could just drop in at anywhere at any time just to take out man. Although I kind of like the idea of leaving him independent. I think that's funny. Yeah, I'm not building any cogs. I don't need them. I might do to land on Ireland. Um, 
No, I like the idea of just having mana as an independent nation. So I'm not going to build any codes for now, at least. Heavy ship combat ability. Lovely. Our heavy ships will clear the sea. Thank you very much indeed. Our troops aren't horrible. They're not great, but they're not horrible. Naval cadets. Which gives us morale hit. We're losing a ship. Minus 33%. Though, to be honest, we shouldn't be losing any ships at all. Because the only ships that should be in combat are my heavies. Oh no, a coalition. Whatever will I do? Go on. Someone ask Scotland for military access. They already have. Idiots. Again, there's nothing any of you can do. It's wonderful. Milan. Once more. So Milan is going to have to be the counterweight to France. So basically, there is no counterweight to France. We're about to see the biggest France I've ever seen. Because, uh, I don't know if you know this, but England, usually pretty good counterweight to France. Guess who uh, kind of got rid of England? That's us, boys. That's us. Okay, I don't want to win in that fort, but I also don't want to lose this fort. Ugh. I hate having to make decisions. In the meantime, you boys can go and fight someone else. How many... Let's get another leader. 3-3. Three, three. Lovely. Halen Merrick. These are not real names. And very little manpower, so this is going to suck. Corner separatists as well as Welsh peasants. And technically, we still need to fight this 14k. They just don't want to fight us right now. I can declare statue and restraint of appeals. Eh, why not? I never like the continent anyway. But if the corner separatists could just wait just a little bit, be ideal. Oh no, England entered into a coalition? Is it just you in the coalition? God damn it. All right, back in a bit. <laughs> okay, we're getting spread real thin right now. To the point where they kind of outnumber us. All right, we need to win this. Don't split off into three directions, please. Whoa, things are getting kind of painful now, boys. All right, colonialism has erupted, which means we need to remove our war taxes. Eh, I'm happy to pay 267 ducats just to not have to fight this lot. Please don't lose that. I did say please. Okay. We need 13,000 men. Alright, I'm going to bump our stability up a little bit. Just because I don't want the Peasants' War. The issue is with the Irish forts is that they're all capital forts. So they all take so long. Now, I do need to take England before the rest of the coalition joins once more. I think giving to Gildan's probably the right choice here. Mm, that was a mistake. I need to get claims first. Right, so now we can finally rest. By attacking the English. Swear to you now, Portugal, if you had any other nation like Leon or something in your land, I'd take you in an able scootage immediately. Because realistically, that's the only way I'm going to get land on the continent. I'm just going to have like one big scootage playing pool vassal. Which, come to think of it, actually sounds like a really fun campaign. That might be where I take this Wales campaign, you know. I just sit on the island. And I just grow one or two or three vassals on the continent. Like, let's say I take Friesland, right? Let's say I, I know CB them, I go and take them. I can grant more and more land to them and declare war for them. If I had Friesland as a vassal uh, and I had enabled Scootage, then they're not going to get called into any coalition wars. Any coalition wars that fire, I'm protected because of my uh, ships. You see what, I, see what I'm starting to get at? So this could be the best play in EU4 history. All right. Do the Portuguese have a navy? If so, I want it sunk. I really want to try that scootage vassal idea now. I think that could be super effective. I'm actually really excited for that. Hopefully you guys enjoy this episode so I can do it again. Because I think we could have a lot of fun with that. I'm happy just to sit here and loot Portugal. And I lose stability. And I lost another stability because my 555 died. It cost 61. Oh, to increase stability, how glorious is that? I'm just, honestly, I'm surprised you're still alive, Wales. I'm surprised that France hasn't just taken land from you. England is dead. Let's see, what are the bets that people join a coalition, lads? Uh, you want to fight that? You sure? Oh dear, Oh dear. I think I might have fought on too many fronts here. Or I could win on every front. That's also an option, apparently. That's Aberdeen done. This now is going to be... Island done. What? The Netherlands declared independence. They've declared war on Burgundy with independence. Does that mean they're all with Milan? No, Milan's independent. So Burgundy is now defending against French, defend attacking against Milan in the Burgundian War for independence, and defending against the Netherlands. Europe's kind of messy. The Netherlands would make a brilliant scootage vassal. 
Uh, we'll go ahead and embrace colonialism. Why not? Become a great power. Lovely. Oh no. A military coalition. Whatever will I do? We're going to convert to Protestant. I think we missed out on the chance to get a center of reformation. We did. They're like all clustered in Bavaria. But that's fine. Denmark. The Dutch. And Burgundy are going to be my rivals. Burgundy are getting destroyed. It's amazing. We're going to go ahead and become defender of the faith. Let's lower this autonomy everywhere. To make our island as tax efficient as possible. And that is where I think we'll leave it for today. So we've got Wales, Gaeldom, and Scotland all sharing the British Isles, but realistically it's ours. Uh, next time we'll probably be going after the Norwegians and Scandinavians uh, for these islands up here because I think it'll be fun. And I think also, if you want to see it, I will explore the possibility of one big scootage vassal. My uh, wheels and cogs in my head have been ticking this entire time, and I think I've got a pretty good idea of how to go about that. In any case, lads, I hope you have enjoyed. Please do let me know if you want to see more of this by liking and subscribing. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to our patrons, most notably Charlie Demorel, Krilly, Flyerton, JDow52, Cargon, Xiaomi, Lewis Wright, Nicole's Christ, QA Shard, Redguard, and Shadow Singer. Your support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, you might as well click on another video. I mean, it's, it's literally right there.